Okay, I am just going to do a research on Camtasia 6 and Camtasia 7.1. I have both in my computer and just want to take a look at how to extract or manipulate mp3 files. And as you can see, I'm using version 6.0 to churn out this mp3 in front of you. I'm just going to show you. Actually, my intention is to just churn out this portion as you can see, but it did not. It did not um, churn out 1 minute and 14 seconds worth of audio, but in fact it churned out everything 13 minutes and 7 seconds so that's not a good deal so in fact you have to take this and put it in the bin or you need to delete this first in order for you to create the mp3 it does churn out a good mp3 but you have to keep um, cutting and you know manipulating using 6.0 is very hard before we look into 7.1, we're just going to take a look at the media info for the mp3 churned out by 6.0. Okay, as you can see, the mp3 that is churned out by 6.0 is using mp3 format, 1 to 8 kilobytes per second, 44.1 kilohertz, one channel, which should be mono, uh, version 1 layer 3, as you can see all this information here. Now we're into Camtasia 7.1 and <coughs> we're gonna try if it can extract audio by parts so we're gonna select the area right click and export audio desktop as you can see it's loading right now okay so this is the results for production of 7.1 mp3 file it will only extract the highlighted portion 1 minute and 14 seconds as you can see and if you look at the info behind here it's exactly the same only it has two channels so it's stereo it's not mono okay lastly we're just going to check uh, what's the difference between one channel and two channel we have both 6 and 7.1 production here both should be of the same size you can see 7.1 is 13.07 and 6.0 is also 13.7 7.1 will give 12 megabytes and 6.0 is also 12 MB so if it, whether it's mono or stereo it's still the same I have to say that there I didn't find any difference between mono and stereo for this one